In this video, I'll show how to delete a vSAN data store and clear vSAN partitions from disk when no vCenter server is available. Right now, the vSAN data store is unable to be deleted. If I try to delete it, the option is grayed out. This disk on the host is currently formatted for vSAN. If I attempt to clear the partition, it fails with the error, failed, cannot change the host configuration. The same happens to the other disk. To delete the data store and clear the partitions of both disks, I'll first SSH into the host with ssh root at nuc1.breakdown.lab. The command to use for most ESXi management tasks is ESXCLI. If you need help figuring out which options are available, you can type dash dash help or simply hit enter. Before I can clear the partitions, I'll first need to leave the vSAN cluster. To list the cluster configuration, I'll use ESXCLI vSAN cluster list. I'll then copy the subcluster master UUID. Since it's the same as other UUIDs, you may not need this specific one. To leave the cluster, the command is ESXCLI vSAN cluster leave dash U and the copied UUID. The ESXi web console shows that the data store is now gone. Now that the host has left the cluster and the data store has been deleted, I can remove the vSAN partitions. Similarly to the previous commands, I'll list the vSAN storage configuration first. With the ESX CLI vSAN storage list. This shows both UUIDs for the device and the disk group. Since both disks are in the same group, I can clear the partitions of both disks by copying the vSAN disk group UUID, and then use the command ESXCLI vSAN storage remove dash U and the disk group UUID. A quick list returns nothing, so I'll double check the web console. I'll hit refresh to show that the partitions have now been cleared. Now that the vSAN data store is deleted and the disk partitions have been cleared, the host storage is ready to be reused. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.